My name is Trevor Harris and we're here on Kyle Trim Biodynamic Farm. The farm that we're on at the moment was a, an out farm that would have been bought in the mid 80s. The farm size is around 140 acres but at the centre of that farm is a 98 acre portion that all the hedges and all the ditches were cleared in the 70s. So it was turned into one big field, 98 acres. I started organic farming in 1999. When I took over this farm, to manage it as one area didn't suit my organic principles. It didn't suit the, my management practices. So I had to divide it up in, certain, in a certain way that I had smaller portions that would suit the, the cattle and the sheep enterprise and the tillage enterprise. And I also wanted to bring an awful lot more diversity and an awful lot more uh, wildlife into the into the farm. So we planted uh, a large amount of hedgerows. We allowed what hedgerows were here to grow more and we planted a large amount of single stand trees here and there. We planted rows of trees and we planted some forestry as well. We're in the glass house here. Our main focus is growing salad leaf for Sprout Food Co. Uh, who have six restaurants in Dublin to do uh, six sa salad restaurants. So we have this rented glass house and that gave us the opportunity to grow salad leaf earlier in the season to get uh, growing in around uh, late February, early March. And now that salad leaf production has moved to the outdoors. So we've other crops in here now. We have courgettes. The soil here is has suffering from a certain amount of compaction. So the courgettes will loosen out the compaction. We've also mulched the soil with straw, which will help with the biodiversity in the soil, it'll help feed that biodiversity and it helps keep the, the weeds down at the same time. So when the courgettes are finished cropping, our soil should be in a much better condition. It should have more soil life in it and be great for growing salads again. Now we're out in the field in uh, some of the vegetables and salad that we're producing. At my feet we have red cabbage and to my right we have uh, some kale that we're growing and then to my left we have some cause and we have uh, some salad leaf. All our, all our vegetable production and salad production is done organically. We don't use any chemical fertilizers or chemical pesticides and the main reason for that is that it's healthier for the soil, it's healthier for the, the plant and ultimately the main reason is that it's healthier for the humans that consume it. We graze the cattle and the sheep together because it uh, helps with the worm burden. We graze them on a uh, mixed species herbal lay. The livestock have loads of different plants to choose from and by having loads of different plants to choose from they, it helps with their uh, nutrition and they're not deficient in any minerals. If they have a deficiency in a certain mineral they'll know what plant they need to eat. Two years ago I had a problem with the lambs, they were shown deficiency in selenium the lambs went to grass, I noticed that they were picking out the dock seeds and eating dock seeds to address their selenium deficiency themselves. Combi crop here, we have a huge diversity of plants and the idea of having such a diversity is to build soil health, to build diversity in the insect population above ground and in the biological soil life below ground. I had someone in this field last week and I was delighted when they turned around and said that it looks like a very happy field. My one nature hack that I'd give to a farmer is a very simple one and that is to stop cutting your hedges. Let the hedges grow. In Ireland we have a huge resource. All the talk is about planting trees and planting forestry but we have miles and miles of hedges all over the countryside and the more we let them grow the more carbon they'll put into the soil and at the same time they'll provide a huge habitat for wildlife to live in, for pollinators to be in, for insects to be in, for birds etc. And all it requires is us to stand back and watch them grow.